Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who comes along and sees this video. Boy, oh boy, this is a doozy. If you ask me, I got it on my cell phone. <sighs> yeah, I went to see, you know, make sure my phone was turned on. And I have Alabama News um, that pops up. Before I even do the thing you have to do to be able to dial. Okay. And I clicked on it. And then it said I had to sign in to read it. Okay. So here's the title. Satanic Temple sues Alabama Billboard Company over ad rejection. Now, I'm going to click on this picture. Now, you may not be able to make out what it is. This is cake batter with a wooden spoon in it. The other is an egg or an ovum from a woman. And there's a squiggly little sperm trying to get in. Okay. Under the egg, the ovum, is, is a little title says not a baby under the cake batter it says not a cake it's not a cake yet it's not a baby yet it's not even close in the very middle I don't know if you could have snapshot that and blow it up maybe you can it says our, now this is, this is the billboard. Our religious abortion ritual. Okay, it's hard for me to read. Our religious abortion ritual averts many state restrictions. And... And that's, it looks to me like a web address. SatanicRituals.com www. If I had to guess. Alright, now. Let's see now, how did I get to the article? Go back. Yes. The Satanic Temple said it is suing an Alabama billboard company over its rejection of an ad that targets anti-abortion counseling centers. Okay, they want to put these billboards over places that counsel against abortion. They're trying to make a young lady or whoever that's pregnant think it's like cake batter that hasn't been baked. It's just an egg and a sperm. No, it's not. As soon as that sperm enters that ovum, that thing goes into gear and starts replicating before the lady even knows she's pregnant. It has taken form. It has a head, a spine, kind of like a tadpole, but it has little arms. You can look it up. I mean, how long does it take to know you're pregnant? Some women know right away, like a day late. So they wouldn't be that far along. But eight days late? Yeah. Trust me, I know. I lost one. Okay. Eight days late. The plan called for eight billboards in Arkansas and Indiana. Will you stop doing that? Why is it doing that? Maybe if I push it up from the bottom. It keeps saying copy, share, select all, dot, 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 right? Right over where I'm pushing. 
The plan called for eight billboards in Arkansas and Indiana near crisis pregnancy centers which counsel women against abortion. The billboards are owned by Lamar Advertising based in Birmingham. The billboards would have contained messages comparing a fertilized human egg, which it called not a baby, to cake batter, which it called not a cake. Say the Satanic Temple says it has a religious... Listen to this. This is disgusting. It has a religious abortion ritual that women getting an abortion can perform, which makes them exempt from complying with state regulations such as mandatory waiting periods and compulsory counseling. Uh, why? I ask myself, why would it exempt them from that? It argues that religious freedom restoration acts in many states, quote, protect religious practices and beliefs from government interference. The Satanic Temple provides a downloadable letter of exemption from abortion regulations based on religious belief. The religious abortion ritual it provides includes the personal affirmation. This is why words are so important. What you speak over someone or yourself. This is very simple. Quote, By my body, my blood, by my will, it is done. Unquote. It doesn't sound like anything to base a, a state regulation on. By my body, my blood, by my will, it is done. And for that, they're allowed to bypass what the state has said a woman must go through before she gets an abortion. She needs to know what she's doing and what the baby looks like based on how far along she is. The Satanic Temple, based in Salem, Massachusetts, Ah, that's funny. Uh -huh. Isn't that where the Salem witch trials happened? I think so. Says that after it submitted the artwork to Lamar Advertising, Lamar rejected all four proposed designs. Will somebody give Lamar a hand? Lamar's contract says that they may reject or remove any billboard that is, quote, or not, quote, in good taste and in line with moral standards of the individual communities in which it is to be displayed, period, unquote. So, in other words, they maybe could have put that in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego, but not there where they have anti-abortion clinics. Lamar informed the Satanic Temple that all of the content was objectionable. The Satanic Temple alleges that Lamar engaged in religious discrimination, acted in bad faith, and deprived it of the ability to advertise its religious abortion ritual because Lamar, quote, holds a monopoly, and my 
computer just died. Pray over it. Plead the blood of Jesus over my computer. I plead the blood of Jesus over my computer. I command you to come back on. Okay, there it goes. It holds a monopoly over much of the U.S. billboard market. While it is understandable to be concerned, this is a quote now, while it is understandable to be concerned with forcing a private entity to engage in speech or conduct it objects to, this scenario is different, said Lucian Greaves, co-founder of the Satanic Temple. Lamar initially agreed to work with us and their rejection appears to be religiously based. In addition, they have a virtual monopoly in certain regions. Oh, isn't that sad? Doesn't the advertising industry hold a monopoly over advertising and mainstream media? Who holds the monopoly, huh? Tell me, satanic people, the one you serve. Okay, they hold a virtual monopoly in certain regions. In this way, Lamar is able to regulate public speech, and they are not permitted to selectively exclude religious voices they object to, unquote. AL.com has contacted Lamar, but officials did not immediately comment. Okay, so this is in AL.com, if you want to try to research it. Note to readers, if you purchase something through one of our affiliate links, we may earn a commission. Okay, nice to know. Anyway, oh, I see now I, they, they've got a little tiny hat up here. Women's plus size, three-quarter sleeve tops. Oh, gee, I think I'm going to go there and shop. <laughs> well, I might, you know. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's it. And other than going to AL.com and typing in article, Satanic Temple Sues Alabama Billboard company over ad rejection. You should find it. This was put up two hours ago. That's it. I got nothing to add. Whatever you'd like to add, just put it in the comments below and I'll talk to you later.